we're here at the beach in Santa Monica, uh, finishing up uh, a beach assessment here. And uh, generally the beach looks great. Not much uh, tar, if any, showing on the surface. Very little tarring on the surface. The uh, cleanup teams report that there's no tar here. Um, but one phenomenon we've noticed, and again, this is not, not a huge amount of tar, so it's not a massive problem, I don't think, but, but the reality is there's still a good amount of tar here, um, from what we can tell. Uh, so this whole area is all groomed daily, and so that's getting churned up, buried. We've also just had some really, really in, uh, good winds today, uh, thanks to the remnants of this tropical storm that are blowing sand everywhere. If you come up and look, it doesn't look like there's much, if any, tar here. But if we maybe start digging, no. 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 Ha. There we go. So uh, it's about, I don't know, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. So there's a good, there's a good dollop of tar. And so that's, you know, that's uh, maybe twice a quarter in terms of diameter size. So is this gonna end the world? No, but there's a this is large this is a larger amount of tar than you would typically see here on this particular beach in Santa Monica. So it's clear there's a good amount of tar out um, amongst these beaches that are just being buried by the normal processes, the normal human processes, but also the geomorphological processes that move sand around beaches. So um, yeah so we still have sand we still have tar here and uh, yeah, so that's, that's of interest.